Today we are going to see about frame relay which is first topic in our Anna University Chennai syllabus for ME Computer Science. Before going into frame relay we are going to see about packet switching network. Around 1970 new research began to create a new architecture for long distance data communication that is called packet switching. A packet switching network is nothing but a distributed collection of packet switching nodes across the network. A packet switching nodes may be a router that is used to transfer data from one place to another. In a packet switching network, all packet switching nodes know the exact status of another node. Consider this is the packet switching node A and this is a packet switching node B and this is a packet switching node C. If a packet switching node A wants to send information to C then it transfer the data through B. Suppose if the B router is busy then it may transfer data through some other routers. For this purpose each and every router should know about the status of nearby routers. In a packet switching network, each and every nodes is updated with the status of another nodes. But there is a time delay in updating this information because of a distributed collection of packet switching node. Consider this is a A router and this is a B router. In between this there are three routers are there. So to update the status information of this router to this router takes some time. To cope up this, many algorithms are created to avoid these problems. Now today, we are using this packet switching network more successfully with those algorithms. All the packet switching nodes are updated with real-time traffic information with the help of that algorithm. Now we are going to see about a basic operation of circuit switching. From circuit switching, we came to packet switching for the purpose of data transfer. Circuit switching is mainly designed to carry voice traffic. Normally, in circuit switching, a resource within a network are dedicated to a particular call. And the resource is utilized fully because of its voice call and at least one party uses the resource fully. But consider if we are using the same network for data, most of the time the line will be ideal because the during a host and terminal connection only one party is sending a file and another party is receiving a file. During that communication most of the time the resources will be ideal. Consider this diagram here once the call is established all the communication takes place on this path or a circuit is dedicated to this call. Even though many paths are possible but only one path is selected per call. Even though the circuit stays active even no one is speaking but still the connection remains ideal which will waste the telephone switches or resources. To avoid this problem a new concept came called packet switching. Packet switching transmits data in short blocks called packets. A packet length is normally 1000 bytes. If the user wants to send a long data, then the long data is broken into small pieces and stored inside a packet. A packet normally contains user data and control information. The control information is used to send data from source to destination properly. The control information may the control information may have some information such as destination IP address, source IP address and some other information related to control the data. Here no dedicated connection is established just packet travel through a packet switching node as so single connection between two packet switching node can transfer multiple number of packet from different host. So here the available resource is utilized 100%. You can check this diagram. This is a sample packet. Here we are not going to discuss more about a packet but this is an application data and all other field is for control information. Now we are going to see what are the advantage of packet switching comparing to circuit switching technology. 
The first advantage is line efficiency. A single node to node link can transmit packet from multiple hosts. But in case of circuit switching, a single dedicated line is established to transmit the data. Here, data rate conversion is possible. Two stations of different data rate can exchange information because each connect to its packet switching node and all those data rate conversions are done in packet switching nodes. But in case of circuit switching, both devices have to transmit data in same speed because there is no in-between routers to control this data rates. Availability is the main advantage of packet switching technology. If we are using circuit switching technology and once a call is established, then if we want to send a data through that particular path, then we get only a busy tone. But in case of packet switching, even the network is busy, still it receives the packet, but transmission delay may occur. But anyhow, it will transmit the data without fail. The most important feature of packet switching technology is priority. The priority packets get delivered faster than normal packet, but in case of circuit switching, it is not possible. Also, we have some disadvantages comparing to packet switching. The time delay happens in each node because of processing of packets in packet switching node. Each packet switching node receives the packets, stores it and then find the next leg to transfer the data. So this process takes some time and generally this process is called jitter. Each packet takes different route to travel to its destination. So arrival delay of packet happen in destination and rearranging is necessary at a destination. Because in packet switching each and every packet travels in a different route. Each packet requires control information which limit the size of user data. But in case of circuit switching, there is no control information required because the data is transmitted only in a dedicated path.